Hello everyone, my name is Cam. Thank you for joining me on another one of my RPG Maker tutorials. This time around we will be going over a action battle system and how to implement one into your game. Uh, ABS is the short form for action battle system. And um, I did get a video tutorial request from a YouTube user. And he wanted to know how to create a battle system similar to Legend of Zelda. So that's exactly what we'll be doing today. Uh, before we get into that, I want to say a couple of things. I'm going to be doing this uh, complete tutorial in a series of video tutorials. We'll be doing a little bit at a time. I think that way I'll have increased viewer retention for my videos and because we'll be covering a little bit at a time, the concepts will be easier to grasp when you're making your own game and when you're making your own action battle system. So that's the first thing. The second thing is before we get into making in our own battle system, I want to give you guys a sense of what you can potentially do in terms of an ABS within the engine. So what I'm going to show you guys is some gameplay from uh, Eden Gate. Eden Gate is a RPG game I have been making for the last year now. And this battle system, to get to this point, has been uh, a over six month process. So it's not something that I'll be able to show you guys within this particular tutorial uh, that would require a lot more time to go over everything but I will be giving you guys a foundation to build your own battle system up, uh, upon and I'll be giving you guys enough of the fundamentals so you have a good starting point which is what I always try to do I, I try to leave the creativity to you know you guys I try to just give you guys that strong foundation that good knowledge base and then you guys you know bring in your own creativity and your own enthusiasm and your own energy into your own projects and make something a bit more unique a bit more uh, interesting rather than just you know copying what other people do so not to say that you can't be uh, you know influenced or get you know really good ideas from other people there have been some really good games and really good sources that I myself uh, look at and you know try to emulate to an extent but anyways uh, this is even gate itself right now I am uh, in the debug room so this is kind of where I test every where I test everything out and you'll have to ex you know pardon me I might be repeating myself a couple of times throughout this viewing only due to the fact that the sound effects are very loud and I am not sure if, you know, my, uh, the words that I'm trying to convey are being heard properly. So, let me do one thing really fast. So right now the music's off, um, that's just for the purposes of this tutorial. If I wanted to turn the music back on, I can hit zero on my keyboard and turn it back off, I would hit zero again so something you might notice, well first of all that slime, that blue slime down there just casts protect on himself, that's why he's glowing um, but another thing, another thing you may have noticed is when I pressed uh, you know, zero on the keyboard and it said music off on the bottom left hand side the music actually came on and when I press zero again and it said music on, the music actually turned off. That's because Eden Gate is a simulated MMORPG with a simulated desktop. So you can actually play your own tracks. I have a couple of tracks that I put into the game um, that I could play, should I choose to. And the dark blue slot and just cast protect on himself. So for example, if I press... Uh, Sorry, if I press music on, I have the option of quick selecting tracks using the plus or minus key on my keyboard. So, for example, if I press the minus key, So I'll play um, 
it'll play a track from my simulated desktop and then I can you know, choose various other tracks that I want to listen to during uh, gameplay. But anyways, uh, that's how that works. And the green slime cast protect, so that's three for three. Let's get on with the battle system. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So that was critical. Um, my strength attribute for the purposes of, while I was you know testing this game, I increased the strength a lot uh, using various various little cheats that only I can do, but. You'll notice that regardless of whether these guys cast Protect on themselves or not and increase their, their uh, defense attributes, I'm still doing a ton of damage. Um, in fact, I can one, one hit KO uh, each of these monsters here. So... <laughs> really hard when they're all coming at you. Position yourself properly. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, cast protect on myself. And then, actually, in this game, if you want to mess around with the enemies or you know, have a little fun with them, you can actually cast things like protect and cast things like cure on uh, the monsters themselves. So there you go, I just cast protect on that guy. Um, what else? Now, uh, I do want to give a shout out to my good friend on RMN. He goes by the name of Ashes of Emerald and he recently created two animation sequences for me uh, for this game. One is the hurt pose and one is the magic casting pose. You saw both of those by now. And uh, they definitely add a lot to the gameplay. So I just want to thank him again for that. Uh, if you're watching this video, thanks a lot, man. I really do appreciate it. Let me uh, do a little bit more before I go on to the tutorial art itself. So this is a fire spell here, actually. I'm not a fan of that animation, so I might change that later on, but... So my magic attribute is pretty low for this character. That's why my magic spells are doing relatively low damage. Um, another thing that you want to consider while casting spells is uh, the enemy type. So for example... Um, actually, let me do something really quick. Let me do offensive, let me do scan. If I scan this guy, uh, fire spirit, fire spirit here. So there you go, you've scanned that into your database and now if I go to my menu, go to miscellaneous and then go to bestiary and go to uh, this guy right here. Uh, you can see its weakness is ice and its strength is fire. So if I cast fire magic on this uh, particular monster, it's only going to heal him. Um, and if I cast ice magic, it's going to do twice as much damage. So let me cast some ice magic. This is the frost three spell. <laughs> So there you go, and just did double damage, and he turned into a treasure chest, which I can now open. And I got some gold from him, that's fine. Um, another thing I want to do is get my ocarina out and play some tunes. This particular tune being the song of amplifying strength. When we cast that... When we play that song three times, we obtain the Godspeed ability, which is, allows us to teleport around the map, and also adds a lot of uh, a lot more strength to our our strength attribute. 
And let me throw a bomb their way. There we go. They're all a treasure chest now, so that saves me a little bit of trouble. Um, last thing I want to do is show you guys this dynamic campfire that I have set up here. Uh, what campfires are used for, uh, not only to kind of set that uh, aesthetic mood, that uh, atmosphere I should say, for your maps, you know, when it gets dark out, I do have a day and night system when it gets dark out, uh, campfire is always nice to kind of sit by, like so. And, you know, kind of feel your HP, your MP, and your, um, your endurance. I forget what the, let me show you guys. So if I mine, you have a little meter on your right hand side, which is for your, uh, I guess endurance is what I called it. So it kind of drops every time you mine or harvest or fish or whatever. Um, get those traps. Okay, so you know you can sit by the campfire and rejuvenate yourself, but you can also. You can also affect it using various spells. So I just used a frost spell to to uh, you know die down the fire, and then I can use this fire two spell to bring it back up. Uh, on the left hand side, you'll see a couple of events. Um, so right now you see the broomstick. That's actually a summon. It's summonable. And let me wait till uh, this reveal spell wears off. <laughs> so you can see your reveal is on. Okay. Um, so yeah, those are summonable. I have not uh, properly scripted their um, their locations into my map right now. Um, I'm still trying to play around with that and figure out the best approach, but. That's why um, they're, you know, way on the left-hand side and kind of looks weird. But anyways, this is the debug room, so, you know. Um, but yeah, also this campfire, aside from, you know, uh, adding on to that atmosphere, you can also use it to craft. So if you have a particular material you're crafting, which requires a source of heat as its catalyst, you can do so by a campfire. So that's another thing, um, another purpose that it serves. But let me just uh, open up this one chest here. We got a potion this time around and we'll call it quits there. 